wear bright colors so that the drivers can see you. Make sure you stick out your hand so that the driver can see you. If it stops, you may go. If it doesn't stop, don't go. You could get really hurt. Make sure you look twice to the left, twice to the right, then you may cross the road. Never walk between parked cars unless necessary. No one wants you to get hurt or injured. Make sure you have a proper signal from the driver. If you do and they wave their hand at you, that means you can go. If they don't say anything, don't walk in front of the car. You could get really, really hurt. You have to wear bright colors in the daytime and at nighttime so that all the drivers can see you. Make sure you're not distracted while crossing the road by any kind of device, phone, iPad, or a Kindle, or whatever kind of device you have. You have to obey these things to be safe. If you see this red hand, that means you still have to wait. If you see this white person walking, then you can cross the road. Make eye contact with the driver, if possible, before you cross the road. All children must walk with adults until at least the age 10. Only use crosswalks to be on the safe side, and a crosswalk does not have to have white lines. Never give your email, phone number, school name, address, photos, your name, and passwords. That could be dangerous. Tell an adult if someone is texting you something weird or that you have seen something weird on the internet. Some guy sending me some weird texts. I don't know who it is. Don't want no guy named Kevin. Okay, well. Did you block him? Yeah. Well, if you block him, there's nothing you can do. Okay. I'll just ask you to just delete it and just click the next time. Okay, bye. Bye. If you're playing on the computer, or a laptop or any kind of device, make sure you shut it down or else you might get hacked or something even worse. When you're on a website about to sign out, make sure you check the age limit. If it doesn't have an age limit, look it up on the internet. Because it might not be your age and inappropriate, unless a guardian or a parent says that you can be on that website. Make sure that your profile on any website is on privacy settings. And make sure that you can hide your profile. Online can never be trusted, so if you're on a website or an app on your phone, make sure that you know the person before uh, know you. accepting a friend request. Don't know you. Don't know you. Don't know you. Don't know you. I know you. I know you. Oh my god. And I know you. On a website, make sure you use a nickname so that no personal stuff gets out. If you don't know someone and they say, let's meet up sometime, don't trust them. Say no. Or find a good response. And you should never say that to anybody either. Make sure you check the info before trusting anybody. They might not be who they say they are.
Baby, I'm playing on you tonight. Hunt you down in In case of a fire, yell. Get out of the fire. In case you're on fire, stop, drop, and roll while covering your face like this. Never keep any electrical wires under the rug. It could cause a fire. Any kind the of lighters fire. or matches, they could start a fire. Any kind of thing that is on, any kind of thing that's burning, will not set off the fire alarms. A very particular temperature will make the fire alarms go off. Make sure no lamps are touching any bedspreads or any type of fabrics. Don't, don't leave the stove on and unauthorized. Make sure you're here around it at all times. Bye! Make sure you don't overload outlets with plugs because that could start a fire. Don't replace anything yourself unless you're a professional electrician or else that will actually call the fire. Make sure you test your smoke alarms every month, change their batteries every year, and change your actual smoke alarms every 10 years. Always have a fire extinguisher even if it's small. Make sure all your heaters are at least three feet away from anything flammable. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our video.